There we go. There we go. What's going on, everybody? Yep, out here in the garage. This lovely, windy fall. Today, we're gonna talk about trailer lights. Trailer lights for your John boat. <sighs> My trailer lights started going out one by one, okay? I've had them for probably a year. Got them off Amazon, like 35 bucks for the whole kit. And I can just say that the kits are sh So first, my running lights, these lights, um, well, these lights right here, they went out. Then, the lights on the back of the trailer, each little dot, each dot that you see each little dot you'll see in there started going out. One completely went out. I had like maybe four of the lights working Tweet. on the back trailer lights. I went ahead and went on Amazon again and purchased another kit. I got these right here. Got these little square ones. Uh, just to try something different, whatever. It's a different brand, but I think they're made in the same factory. Every single trailer light package, submersible trailer light package on Amazon is probably made at the same factory. These are called Max Halls. I'm gonna give these a try. I've got one uh, bolted up. I haven't wired it up yet, but the thing is, when you get these kits, here's the box. They come with two of these right here come with a wire harness for your truck in case you don't have one and they come with two of these okay so it's a pretty good deal for 35 40 bucks for these lights but the thing is they don't freaking last not only do the lights not last but the wire goes to hell i was trying to see if it was my lights or the wire when i got this kit in so i didn't have to rerun the wire and when i was trying to splice the wire it kept breaking and i would try to splice it again it kept breaking so i had like five or six pieces of broken wire because it done dry rotted or whatever now i have to run wire throughout the trailer new wire that comes with the kit this is the new wire harness right here and it runs Let's see i got it back here kind of dangling right there and I just have to run it down this side and down that side. Cool thing about a trailer, a John boat trailer, an aluminum trailer, is you can run it inside those voids and it's super easy and it doesn't take long at all but these little components like the wire the, the wire ties and the the, the, the lock nuts or whatever you call these things, them, they ain't worth crap either. Everything in here is junk. Now, why wouldn't a company come out with a good kit with good components, like good wire nuts and good wire connectors and good wire? So I don't have to buy a new light kit every freaking year. And I know that when you get these light kits, you need to go to Lowe's or Home Depot or Northwest Hardware, wherever, and get the waterproof wire nuts, <laughs> wire connectors, waterproof this. What? Dude, I just bought a submersible trailer light kit. That means it goes underwater and everything's supposed to be cool, right? But it ain't. Why not put the waterproof nuts, and the waterproof wire ties and clips and all that crap that comes with it, why not make them waterproof already? Why do I have to go? I don't want to have to go out. I ain't got time to go and run to Lowe's and buy $20 worth of waterproof wire ties and stuff, you know? Or the wire nuts or whatever they're called. Why can't it all just come in there together? I would pay $150 for a good trailer light kit if I didn't have to change them once a year. Because here in about, I don't know, two more years, I'm probably gonna be right at $150 on these kits. Because water gets in the lights. You've seen on that one, there's condensation in there where water got in it. So it's not just the, the connectors, it's the lights too. I don't know. Somebody please come out with a kit. Or if there's one out there, leave a link. Because I'll take these off and order right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. And I mean, they look good on your boat. They just don't last. Cheap. You know, you can... one more thing. Company out there is listening to me in my rant. Do a trailer light kit that's waterproof. Make sure you have the, the wire connectors, the little twisty things that go on a wire, whatever it's called, wire nuts, whatever, and some heat shrink tubing. Just to make sure. Throw some heat shrink tubing in there as well. But make all these components here waterproof. Like, give me the good stuff. I don't want this cheap stuff that you twist and it strips. Let's get these lights on. 
also, as you can see, this uh, light kit comes with a handy dandy little diagram here. It shows you which wires go which way down the boat. Yeah, you know, there's two sets of wires. You have a green and brown, and then the yellow and brown is right there. The yellow and brown go down the right side of the trailer. The green and brown go down this side of the trailer. Another thing they give you in this little kit is like these little Jimmy Dooms right here. It means you attach these to your trailer. So this one, as you can see where my thumb is, has like little teeth on it. I'm gonna pop that thing right there on the trailer, just like that. Mm -hmm. Take your little wire right there, pop it in there, just like that. That way you can keep your uh, wires nice and tight. So I've got this brown right here, and then it's gonna connect, that's gonna connect here. And what I did was I just opened this up because the wire's connected. I just took like a little razor blade and very gently uh, opened that seam up right there. And then this is your, the white wire right here for this light, which is right here, this light right here. This one is gonna be connected to the bolt right here for your ground. And then this brown wire is gonna be connected to this brown wire with this handy dandy connector right here. Ain't that something? in there, wrap it up. Just like that. And then you know what else you gotta do. Just to kinda help keep it waterproof, which it's not gonna be. We'll say it's water resistant. But definitely not waterproof. See that's the thing, like with these trailer lights, they need to come up with a kit that has everything waterproof. Now, you take this white wire right here, which is about as good an angle as I can get, and then this little dude right here, this little connector comes in the kit. You're just gonna slide that up on there. Where's my pliers? All right, so as you can see, right here, I've got my ground wire on one of the bolts that the light attaches to the trailer with so it just kind of grounds it out and then I've got my splitter right here so I'm gonna go ahead and run this on back all the way to the back tail light and then we can test it out hey what do you say then we can test it out and make sure this side works Got the running light right there hooked up. I've got all my clamps in, so my wire fits up in there nice and tight. Ain't nothing hanging. Right here, as you can tell, I left some slack. That's how much slack I've got. I went ahead and hooked this light up right here. I've got it, as you can see, I don't have no wire nuts on them yet. I'm gonna go ahead and test it and make sure that it works before I go any further, like cutting wires and you know, if there's any problems, I need to know now. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down and we're gonna see if this light works and we do the lights. Brake lights and then we do the signal, see if it works. So that one's working, and that one's working. So we got this, we got that side done. So now all I need to do is just trim up this wire down here, put my little wire nuts on there whatever nuts put my little wire nuts on there seal them up as best as i can with electric tape whatever i'm using whatever comes with this packet experimental yeah i could go out to lowe's and get all the waterproof stuff but like i said i'm not doing that this is a package i, I do that i'm gonna run the other side and then we'll go fishing we'll drop it in the water and see if my truck blows <laughs> okay i got wires ran down the both sides of my trailer got everything hooked up right side the left side if i wanted to i could go to northwest hardware get me some waterproof connectors for the wires the waterproof whatever heat shrink tubing and make all these connections waterproof but this is an experiment my whole point is we'll see how long this lasts because i'm gonna you know when this uploads it's gonna upload tomorrow so it's from when this video uploads until you start hearing me complain about my trailer lights going out, that's how, that's how long they would have.
have lasted. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my lights on and we'll just see if they work. I'm gonna set this right here, set it right there, and we'll see. I'll go ahead and turn them on and I'll do the brake lights and the signal lights. And then obviously I'm gonna leave them on and come back and see if it works. There we go. Looks like both of them are working. I didn't, uh, I guess I'll find out in the video if the signals work or not. I got this running light right here. That one's on. And this running light. That one's on. You know, as I was putting these lights on, I'm like, you know what? I ought to go ahead and just paint my trailer. Brian the Carpenter, a.k.a. Brian Man, a.k.a. Brian the Carpenter, loves my trailer painting video. So I'm eventually going to paint this and I'll just take around the lights or whatever and paint it. But the way I painted my scuff the trailers up a little bit, take them to the car wash, spray them off, get all the dirt and grime off of it, and then I go to spray paint and I go crazy. I go crazy. So that might be here in the near future. Just because, you know, the galvanized is okay, but I want it black. I want it black. Thanks for watching. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and uh, yeah. Until next time, we'll catch you on the flippy flop. Get out!